So let's talk about Naughty Dog, uh, my favorite exclusive PlayStation developer, many people's favorite exclusive PlayStation developer. Started out back in 1994 making uh, Crash, the first Crash Bandicoot game. That's when they started development on it, it was 1994. They spent about five years on Crash, dumped it into 1999. Started with the Jack series in about 2001, spent about five years on that, dumped it in 2005. Uncharted comes out in 2007, and to this day, they just came out. A week ago, Uncharted The Lost Legacy, um, it's kind of like, it seems like Uncharted 4 and a half. It's not like a full sequel, I guess. It's kind of like a side story featuring Chloe and, uh, what was that mercenary bitch from Uncharted 4, I think? Kind of working together on some side quest or whatever. This is the longest Naughty Dog has spent with a single series ever, to my knowledge, and actually I'm definitely right about that. So what's Naughty Dog gonna do going forward? Uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy seems like, didn't, I think Naughty Dog claimed it will be their last Uncharted game, which is kind of weird because I felt like Uncharted 4 tied up you know, loose ends very neatly. There was no need for, I guess, having this side, little side quest thing it kind of seemed kind of fun, probably. They probably had a lot of assets or ideas that they didn't use in Uncharted 4 that they just wanted to get out there. So they said, hey, let's make some money on this, which is all right. But uh, what of Naughty Dog? I got to be honest with you. I would love to see Naughty Dog come out with a new Jack game. I would love to see him come out with Jack 4, a sequel to Jack 3, because honestly, Jack and Daxter, The Lost Frontier, which I, by the way, never played the whole game. I I bought it a couple years ago back for PlayStation Portable, and I found out my PlayStation Portable battery was it would not take a charge anymore, so I just never played the game. And it's still sitting around unplayed. Maybe I'll play it someday, but I've seen cutscenes. It doesn't really seem like it's that good of a game. It was not even made by Naughty Dog. For those of you wondering what I'm talking about, Jack and Daxter, The Lost Frontier came out in, I believe, 2000. 2010? I don't know. It was a PlayStation Portable game, not made by Naughty Dog, that was kind of like a sequel to Jack 3, but it, it was not really that good. When I think of Naughty Dog, I can't help but remember a time in high school, I was in a finance class, and what we had to do was we had to look up stocks for uh, different companies, and I was like 13, right? I think this was ninth grade, and I was I was wondering, okay, what's Naughty Dog's stock? Let's look up Naughty Dog's stock. So I, I'm looking up Naughty Dog on the New York Stock Exchange, and this fucking kid sitting next to me goes, this guy's, he's typing in Naughty Dog, he's looking for dog porn. Like he, this kid, like he told everybody in the entire class, I was looking for bestiality porn, because I was looking up the fucking gaming developer, Naughty Dog. And I don't know why, but that story just, that, that memory just sticks in my mind because, like, I was fucking 13 and I was, like, madly mortified by that happening. So, anyway, uh, as you can clearly see, there's Kramer back there judging us. Naughty Dog, where do they go next now? Are they going to make another Last of Us? I think it's possible, um, but... I honestly think there's a strong possibility Naughty Dog comes out with another new game series now. Naughty Dog really seems to be a developer that it does not like dwelling in the past. They make they they go through their games. They like they what they were they were with Crash for a while, then they moved on. They were with Jack for a while, then they moved on. They've been with Uncharted for a while. They're probably going to move on. I'm pretty sure they said that this is going to be the last Uncharted game. What I can tell you I would really like Naughty Dog to do is I would love for them to either start working on a new Crash game or start working on a new Jack game. Selfishly, those were two of my favorite childhood games, so I want to see fucking sequels made by competent developers. And I'm thinking of that uh, Lost Frontier Jack and Daxter that was, you know... It, it, it was pretty cheesy, and I'm not even sure if they had the same voice actor for Jack. But anyway, uh, I, I digress on that point. Let's talk about uh, The Last of Us. Another game I haven't played, uh, but you know, it was released and remastered for PlayStation 4, despite only being released a couple years prior on PlayStation 3. I think they might have realized the error of them releasing for a system that was essentially either dead or at the end of its life cycle, and they realized that they could get a lot more sales. Um, from the new PlayStation 4 buyers, just because PlayStation 4 has a huge, probably the biggest install base of any current console right now, which is rad, that's good. Will there be a sequel to The Last of Us? I don't know, can there be a sequel to The Last of Us? The way, I don't know, my impression of the game, I, have, I haven't played Last of Us, I probably should, everybody's gonna tell me I should. Could, there, could they make a sequel with how that game played and how it ends? I, I'm sure they, they'd find a way. I don't think so, I think Naughty Dog's gonna come up with a new fucking game. But I hate that. That's the thing. I said previously that if Naughty Dog or if Sony developers would kind of treat their first-party games kind of like Nintendo does, if they would give them 
a little more uh, longevity and a little more like center and focus. Like in the 90s, everybody said that Crash Bandicoot was basically the rival of uh, Mario. Like Crash Bandicoot games could have been as big as Mario if they would have kept a good developer with them and they would have kept focusing on them. Instead, it's kind of like Crash has a bunch of games. They all are really well received. Then it gets kicked to the side and given to a shitty... Naughty Dog leaves and it goes to a shitty developer. Several shitty developers. And... The license gets knocked around back and forth, and nobody nobody cares, and it ends up being crap. But if if, if Sony kind of treated its series more like Nintendo treats Mario or Zelda, like maybe not make a million spinoffs like Mario, but like put some care into subsequent releases of the games and give the fans what they want. What's so fucking hard about that? My problem with Nintendo is that's pretty much all they do. But with Sony, it's kind of the so a lot of Sony console uh, fucking series. It's like they just. They just forget about them, right? They happen, they die, they forget about them. I don't know. I want to see Naughty Dog do another Jack game. I feel like there's a shit ton of... Uh, more than Crash, because Crash, I feel like... Crash had the trilogy, the insane trilogy just got released, which I was... I've been trying to write a review on for a while now, and that has not fucking happened. But it looks like... I don't know that Activision is going to do a great job restoring Crash, but like I, I think the insane trilogy is at least showing that there was there's some promise there. So I think Crash is overall and i'm more over crash because crash has been it's been over 10 years seriously since crash has well over 10 years since crash has had a good new game release so i almost feel like crash can be left uh, uh, activision can uh, will try and revive crash and i think they might do okay but jack is just kind of entirely in limbo right now the jack series and i think naughty dog needs to make a new jack game i actually heard before uncharted 4 was made naughty dog was considering actually making a new jack game and it, you know there's been rumors of there there've been rumors for ever since the day naughty dog dropped crash that they're going to make a new crash game there's been rumors from the day that naughty dog dropped jack that they're going to make a new dra jack game and it hasn't happened on either front so past history is the best indicator of the future but i don't I, so i don't think by any stretch of the imagination naughty dog is ever going to make a new jack game or ever make a new crash game i'm just being honest and brutally honest with myself i'd be fucking amazed and so happy that i'm wrong if they did but i don't see it happening so where are they going now they're gonna make in, i think they're going to make a new uh game series if the playstation 5 is on the horizon like some people seem to think it will probably be for that console. There's a possibility they'll come out with another la with a Last of Us sequel uh, this console generation. Uh, still, I think that's going to be. I think if they're doing a Last of Us sequel, it's going to be it's going to be for PlayStation Four without a doubt. The other thing to consider is PlayStation Four. I guess it's only a four year old console at this point. But if PS5, it's it's I could see it's possible PS5 will come out in 2018, 2019. That's only two years away. Uh, two year development time for a video game is really kind of standard now or some game games would go even longer than that but a two year development time would you know for something like a new series being created by Naughty Dog would not be I think that would be pretty normal that's the two, that's the two ways I see I see Lost of Us Lost of Us Last of Us is going to fucking be a, probably going to maybe get another sequel get a sequel this generation and then maybe next generation they're going into a new series and Jack and Crash Crash is going to get revived by Activision and then probably be bleh. And Jack is just going to die and be gone forever, which sucks. But whatever. What do I got to say about Naughty Dog? What do I got to say about the developers? I always get Naughty Dog and Insomniac confused sometimes in my mind when I mentally cross wires. Because I was thinking, which one was the one that made Disruptor, which was like a, I think it was a first person shooter back in the 90s for uh, 3DO? And that was that was actually Insomniac. I was going to say that Naughty Dog made it, but they, they didn't. Do I want to rant on Naughty Dog? Do I want to rant on a developer that I, I, I supposedly love and I, I played the majority of their games? Um... So yeah, I will. Naughty Dog, listen. I don't fucking want to play The Lost Legacy. Not because I don't want female protagonists. Because I love female protagonists. I love women. I have the utmost respect for women. But absolutely, positively, like, we... Uh, Eh, Uncharted 4 was a good way to end it. Why the fuck do you bring in, like, a new a, a, a new side story? I mean, yeah, sure, they're like, let's drop this in and get some fucking cash for people who, people bought it. I can see that, I can see it doing okay in sales. But honestly, direct your fucking attention toward, give us some fan service, man. Stop worrying about money and give us some fucking fan service, okay? I mean, I know there's Uncharted fans now, but they're still, they're still fans of your old game series. And what of them? I know they're, they're not your property anymore, so you have no say. But you could have say. You could fucking do it. But you just don't want to because I don't think Naughty Dog actually cares about their fans. Do they? Maybe they do. I don't know. Um, I'm sure people in Naughty Dog care about their fans. But overall, they're a company. They're trying to make some fucking money. 
Can I fault them for that? Yes. Be more like Nintendo. I know I, 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 I say, this sounds fucking hypocritical, but be more like Nintendo in this regard. Service your fans, service your old series, and then just make me fucking happy. I understand that might not be the smartest business decision, but make your fucking fans happy. And I'm over Uncharted. We, we honestly, we do not need another Uncharted game. We've had enough Uncharted, and the ser in my opinion, fine series. The premise of Uncharted is not interesting enough to garner twice as much time as your other two main game series. I'm okay with the Last of Us sequel. Back Crash. Bring back Jack, more importantly, because Crash, Crash is on his way back. He might be. My phone's almost running out of space, but this has been a long and incomprehensive rant. Thank you for watching. Uh, I didn't get as angry as I probably should have. I'm, I'm off my game. Next time I rant, uh, it'll be a topic that really fucking sucks and not just something where I did when I woke up in the morning and I was like, hey, naughty dog. But anyway, subscribe to Crash Love Gaming. I still want Stone Mountain 64 to duel me um, in a battle of fisticuffs, but yeah, better start harassing him on Twitter, everybody, all our, our three fans or whoever's left here. Anyway, thanks for watching.